press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello there and welcome. I'm Barbara Perome and this is Strictly Security, your weekly look into defense, technology, and strategic affairs. In this edition, we look back at some of the major stories covered on this show in recent months. We'll look at strategic cooperation between Israel and India, two democracies that are marking a quarter century of diplomatic ties with the first ever visit to Israel by an Indian head of state. We'll visit a pre-state underground bullet factory right here in Israel. Let's begin. We begin with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who became the first Indian head of state to visit Israel last month. Israel does not produce big-ticket airplanes, helicopters, and warships, yet it's managed through a spectrum of cutting-edge technologies to secure a major share of the Indian arms market right behind Russia and the United States. Here's our report. Shalom, <laughs> Israel rolled out the red carpet this week for Narendra Modi, the first ever Indian prime minister to visit the Jewish state. The pomp, circumstance and personal attention lavished on the Indian premier by Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu rivaled that of the recent visit here by U.S. President Donald Trump, reflecting Israel's desire to fortify its expanding partnership with New Delhi. Prime Minister, we share a bond of democracy and creativity a deep respect for the past, a boundless optimism for the future. And it's in this spirit, my friend Narendra, in this spirit of close cooperation and deepest friendship that I welcome you here to our home in Jerusalem. This year marks a quarter century of formal diplomatic ties between India and Israel, ties that have significantly expanded since Modi took office in May of 2014. Fueled by threats from radical Islamic terror, rockets and missiles, and the need for border controls and cybersecurity, the two nations are expanding military and security ties at an unprecedented pace. And while both leaders of their respective right-wing nationalist governments sought to highlight during Modi's visit here the myriad non-military aspects of their relationship, it is defense trade and security cooperation that continues to dominate the bilateral agenda. Israeli arms sales to India predate by decades the formal ties established in 1992. Throughout the Cold War, India, as head of the non-aligned movement, consistently sided with the PLO and Israel's Arab and Muslim adversaries worldwide. But that didn't dissuade New Delhi from quietly acquiring Israeli weapons, which it used in its wars with Pakistan in 1965 and 1971, and in its border conflict with China in 1962. In 1999, when India and Pakistan, by then nuclear powers, went to battle once again, this time in the mountains of Kargil, Israel provided drones, precision munitions, targeting systems, and even satellite imagery that helped push Pakistani troops and Kashmiri separatists back beyond the line of control. Since then, Israeli and Indian defense cooperation has steadily progressed, even as New Delhi furthers its security ties with several Mideast partners, including the UAE, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. This is a, a very long cooperation that uh, that's for several decades now. We're working together uh, with uh, all of the Indian administrations and users for many, many projects that we are good doing together. And together we are building uh, the wall and we are building the capabilities of, uh, of uh, India and Israel together. In the decade prior to Modi's election, defense trade grew from a few hundred millions of dollars annually to nearly one billion dollars. But it was subtle, given the policy of the ruling coalition at the time, not to antagonize India's 180 million strong Muslim minority or its ties to Gulf states. In addition to a full spectrum of arms sales, the two countries quietly embarked on extremely sensitive collaborative projects, including a joint air defense system and the January 2008 launch from India of Israel's first radar spy satellite. Defense trade between the Modi government and Israel steadily exceeds $1 billion per year, even as the United States and Russia are lobbying hard to carve out a greater share of the Indian market. We'll take a short break and be back to discuss the presidential elections in Iran.